Where are you from? From Philippines. I came from Sara, Iliilo, Philippines. I'm from the Philippines. From the Philippines. From Philippines. What do you do for a living? Um, I work in a hotel. Sales assistant. From Monday until Friday in the morning, I am working as a childcare teacher. And then in the afternoon, Saturday, Sunday, I'm working in uh, I am working as a healthcare assistant. Uh, I work as a sales assistant. How do you invest your money? In family. <laughs> What's your monthly expenses? My rent is 200 euro. Just eat rice. How do you invest your money? Me and my husband, we are doing some restaurant in Philippines. Mm -hmm. We invest in the land. Money buys happiness for you. Yeah, All definitely. Right. How is the finding friends or dating life in Malta? Dating life? I don't know. I will say rubbish. You can go in Sara Iliilo. We will go to Philippines next time. Yes. And people from Philippines, if they want to come to Malta, what advice you would you give to them? Is it a good country to come or no? Actually, for the beginners, yes. I mean, for the stepping stone, yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> it's very nice country, see? Your rent? I'm not renting. Oh, you bought your own property? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. In Malta? Welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm going to find only Filipino in Malta because there are a lot watching my channel I know and I really appreciate you and I'm going to interview them to now how they are living here what is the life experience they are having and what they are making here is it even affordable to live in Malta why specifically they are choosing to come to Malta we will now a lot we will deep dive into it don't forget today's video sponsor is you as always and also Valex property if you want to sell out your property or if you want to purchase one your direct buddy is here check out my channel and I'm putting the a lot of home tools and also interview with people regarding rental investment. Hit the like and subscribe button. Let's go to interview them. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Wait, I'm Tori. Don't worry, go. I'm Shaira. I'm from the Philippines. I'm 27 years old. Wow. What do you do for a living? Um, I work in a hotel. Mm -hmm. And what's your position there? Um, um, guest serv... Like, um, how you call it? Guest service. Okay, that's good. For how long you are living in Malta? Three years. Okay. And are you happy doing what you do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, tell the truth. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. And what keeps you not to be fully happy? Um, I don't know. I think the salary, just that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But um, the environment, I love it. You love the environment, yeah. but money buys happiness for you. Yeah. All Definitely. Right. That's good answer. Yeah. And being in your position, how much can we make per month? I think around one five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it's not enough. For now, it's enough. For now, it's yeah, enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What What's your plan in the future that it will not be enough? I don't know. I don't know what the future brings, mm -hmm. but for now, I'm okay. okay. <laughs> and what, what's your monthly expenses? The, I mean, I f I finish all my money, like one five. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's start breaking it down. Your rent. I'm not renting. Oh, you bought your own property? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. In Malta? Yeah. That's yeah. great. Wow. So you are a full-time hustler. So you are investing your money? A little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it means you have long-term goal for staying in Malta? Yeah, for now I have long-term goal, but mm -hmm. I don't know what the future is. As I've told you, I don't know what the future will bring. Okay. So, yeah. But That's now cool. I'm loving Malta. That's mm -hmm. why I'm living here. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And... Uh, when did you buy your property? Um, I think two years ago. Mm -hmm. So, comparing Philippines and Malta, which one is easier to buy a property? Um, uh, to buy a property, of course, Philippines, it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Here, there's so many things you should do, like you need to, so many things. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, where is your property? Is it central? In Slema, here. In Slema? Yeah. Oh, okay, and uh, how much you put for the payment or down payment or in total how much is it? No. You can't talk about it. It's like no. it's a property investment. No. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, when it's in Slema, you know around the roughly how much. Okay, so more than 400,000. Mm, maybe more. Starting 400,000? Yeah, starting 400,000. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. okay. And uh, beside your property, how do you invest your money? Um, did you know that Revolut has a 4% um, yearly in, um, interest? 
is that okay. yeah but it depends like which type of account you are having it's premium or ultra or something yeah i have premium mm -hmm. in revolut mm -hmm. so it pays me like four percent month a uh, yearly okay that's great and yeah. uh, people from philippines if they want to come to malta what advice you would you give to them um i would rather go somewhere else mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it's hard here okay. but how you are managing how you are like uh, coping out from hard situations? Um, depends, uh, you know, where you worked before, mm -hmm. depends on your skills. When, where, well, if you have like, um, how you call it, if you have like um, experience, of course you get more money. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have, then you start from the bottom. Especially now here, it's like 800 euro, I think, is the minimum wage. And that's so, so small. Okay. Yeah. And the and well, then you pay the rent, you pay for food, you send money to the Philippines, and it's. Mm, you so are also hard. doing something like a sending back to the Philippines? Yeah, yeah. But wow. uh, I have my brother, my sister here, so we all share. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> you chipped up and you bought a property together, or this is only for you? Yeah, just for me. Wow, that's nice. And very well, actually. Well done in your 20s. You're already having a property in another country. That's good for you. Any best piece of financial advice for people in their early 20s? Um, if you can't buy it by cash, don't buy it at all. If you don't have money, don't buy it at mm -hmm. all. That's buy right. it when you're ready. Right. Is that? That's great. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Enjoy to talk to thank you. you. Well, take care. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, I'm Charisse, 36 years old from the Philippines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how long you are in Malta? Um, almost two years. Mm -hmm. And what do you do for a living? Uh, I am working as a healthcare assistant in an elderly homes here in Malta. Mm -hmm. And why did you decide for coming to Malta? Mm, Malta is a nice place upon research. When I am still in the Philippines, I'm, I keep on um, uh, searching for a nice country mm -hmm. to, to work. <laughs> so you came to Malta directly from the Philippines? Yes, yes from the Philippines. You never lived abroad before? I've been to Singapore, but it's just... Um, one one year mm -hmm. um yeah one year but comparing singapore and malta you chose malta yes because singapore is just in asia so it's mm -hmm. just uh, near from the philippines so i want and malta is in europe so well, that's a good <laughs> point as well and yes. being in your position as a healthcare assistant how much can we make per month uh more or less 1500 a month mm -hmm. Um, but if I do some overtime, it's more than that. All right. And how do you invest your money? For now, no investment. I'm still paying for a lot of um, things from the in the Philippines. Uh, you have some loans there? Yes, coming here is so expensive. So. What, why do you say coming here for expensive? Like you paid some yes. amount of money? Yes. For what? Um, um, I came here via agency, so mm -hmm. I paid a lot to come here. Really? Yeah. Wow. But wasn't it possible to come directly to Malta? You chose the agency service. Um, it's difficult to come without agency, mm -hmm. I think, especially for us. So it's better to have an agency. Okay. So how much they are charging per person? 4,500. Damn it. Is it worth for paying around 5,000 and coming to Malta? Uh, for me, it's worth because mm -hmm. I am here now and... I'm living my <laughs> my good life, so okay. It's, it's okay. So, and let's break it down about your expenses. And roughly, you are making seventeen hundred per month. And what's your expenses for a grocery, for rent? For rent, I am paying three hundred fifty euro plus the bills, mm -hmm. and um, for for the food, uh, we have free food in work. So, mm -hmm. if I want to eat more. I, it's just like 200 maybe a month okay. for and food. For 350 plus bills, you are paying for apartment or for a room? Room. Okay. Uh, I live with flatmates. Uh, you have also roommates? You are no, sharing no, a room? I, I am alone in the room. Mm -hmm. And uh, two bedroom? Uh, no, it's uh, three bedrooms and we are five. Two each rooms and I am the one alone in my mm -hmm. room. So yeah, okay. we are five. And they are all Philippines, yes. uh, Filipinos. All Filipinos, yes. Yeah. And uh, how is this social life in Malta? Because you you say that you are also be living with Filipinos. Why you are not finding out someone like a foreigner to live with them? What's your social life looks like? 
Uh, I have a lot of friends, foreigner friends, so mm-hmm. it's okay to live with Filipinos. And then outside, I have a lot of friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, and how how's the like finding friends or dating life in Malta? Is it easy or dating for life? foreigners? Yeah. <laughs> dating life is, I don't know. I will say rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, it's not so good. I don't know. It's not so good dating in Malta. Mm-hmm. So. That you mean like even Filipinos, like you dating with them? No, I'm not dating Filipinos. Mm. So you, <laughs> you don't prefer? No, no. Okay. But how about the local people? Is it easy to communicate? Yeah. Yeah, I can mm-hmm. at least communicate with them because in our job, um, most of our, our residents are Maltese. So at least we can understand, speak some Maltese language. And we're also um, required to study Maltese language. Wow. Yeah. So why? So, Why you are learning Maltese language and because it's we're required? In Malta. We're in Malta. No, now. I mean you say that it's a requirement. Is it because of the healthcare people or? Mm. Yeah, we are required now. Mm-hmm. This year we're starting to study Maltese language, mm-hmm. okay. especially in our field. It's okay. That's great. So you are always in touch with local people as mm-hmm. well. It yes. makes sense to know it. Mm-hmm. And people from Philippines, if they want to come to Malta for a long term, what advice you would give to them? For a long term. Um, actually, it, it it always depends on the person. Because like me, I, I will choose to stay in Malta. But for some, I talk for some Filipinos or some other uh, nationalities. They just came here to go to other places. It's just that, the, um, you know, this is the easiest way to come in Europe. Malta is the okay. easiest way. So for me, I want to stay here. And That's great. Malta is a gateway. Yeah. And what's your long term in Europe? You want to move uh, out somewhere? No, for now I don't. I'm not thinking of moving somewhere else. Mm-hmm. I I want to stay in Malta. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you very much for talking to us and sharing mm-hmm. your experience. And hope you will date with someone. You will find some, some people and mm-hmm. your soulmate as well. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? I am Emma Mandihar Dakera. I came from Sara Iliilo, Philippines. Mm-hmm. And how yeah. old are you? I am 41. 41? Yes, I am. Wow, you don't look like 41. Yes, I am. Is it because of your DNA? Mm, it is a Filipino blood. Okay. <laughs> you, you cannot guess Filipinos' age. That is the and what miracle. Eh? Just eat rice. Just eat rice? <laughs> yes. Oh, that right. is our national food, actually. Okay. And what do you do for a living in Malta? Uh, right now, I'm working as a um, uh, child care From Monday until Friday in the morning, I am working as a childcare teacher. Mm-hmm. And then in the afternoon, Saturday, Sunday, I'm working in okay. Yes, just so. like a part-time for And being in your position, mm-hmm. doing two type of jobs, how much yes. can we make per month? It depends because we they are paying per, per hour. Mm-hmm. So let's say for the childcare educator, they are only paying a bit less, just eight euro like that per hour. Mm-hmm. And in depends maybe they're paying it depends to your but for my side is seven euro point 25 like that okay. and yes. uh, let's say that per month you are making 13 1400 more than one five I think it okay depends. yes right. and how do you invest your money honestly we are investing in a restaurant because me and my husband we are doing some restaurant in Philippines mm-hmm. we invest in the land because we are not We are not here for a lifetime in abroad, so we are planning to come back in Philippines, me and my husband. Mm-hmm. And he's also here? Yes, he's working in a restaurant. Okay. He's a chef. Okay. And uh, who is running your business in Philippines? My Because you both are here. Yes, uh, only my sister, my older sister. Oh, okay. Yes. She's the business Actually, operator. Yes, for now, yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, we have a very good chef there, so you can come and they can welcome to you. We will go to Philippines next time. Yes, <laughs> yes you can. You can go in Sara Iliilo, GS Food Station. Okay, GS Food Station in yes. Sara Ala? Yes, Sara Iliilo. Sara yes. Iliilo. <laughs> GS Food Station. Okay, that's great. Yes. And what is your monthly expenses in Malta? Uh, actually, for the house rent, we are paying 500. Mm-hmm. But for me and my husband, we are work, we are paying for that. Rent, but we are sharing for the, in one flat, we are three bedrooms. So just one room for us. Just we are paying, including the bills, 500. Mm-hmm. And beside your rent, what are your expenses? 
food. <laughs> food because right now the food is getting higher mm-hmm. compared to 2019 before. The me- like for example for the milk, now it's coming up high a bit because maybe because of the, you know, everything is high. Because of the inflation? Yeah, here, even in Philippines, I think, mm-hmm. yes. But you need to know how to spend money because we are here in abroad not to buy today, not, you know, you need to buy only for your essential needs, mm-hmm. not for the, you know, not for the for non-essentials, the ones. yes, non-essential. Right. Okay. And how do you save your money? Um, we need to budget, we need to budget. Like, for example, me and my husband, money, we need to combine together, and then we need to budget. And we need to know how much we're going to put for food like that one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And people from Philippines, if they are thinking to come to Malta and yeah. to work or maybe to live for mm-hmm. a lifetime, what advice you would give to them? Is it a good country to come or no? Actually, for the beginners, yes. I mean, for the stepping stone, yes. And uh, wherever you go, wherever you're going in other countries, not only in Malta, because I was in Dubai for eight years, so Dubai is good as well. But if you want to work and they're paying you per hour, so I think I can compare Europe countries. Mm -hmm. One of that is Malta, because in Dubai, they're paying for your salary for one month only without the overtime pay, in my case. I don't know with the others. Oh, okay. Comparing Dubai and Malta, Malta is better than that. Mm, yes. Financially. Financially, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. And as a business owner, restaurant owner, yes. how much is it generating for you per month? Uh, it depends because as a businesswoman or a businessman, we cannot, we don't know. The first in the Philippines, we need to consider the weather, because. Our restaurant is near to the school at the same time with the supermarkets. So in school, if we have a school class, if it's school days, we have a lot of customers. That's why it depends to the occasion, it depends to the weather at the same time, because sometimes there is rain, there is flood, so of course it depends. But recently we can, for the net, I think we can save maybe 40,000 for the net. 40,000 euro. Yes. No, 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 not for pesos. Just like maybe less than 800 euro like that one. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. As a business owner, restaurant owner, and also living abroad, mm-hmm. what's the best piece of life and financial advice you would give to our community? First, you need to, like us, we are, we are trying to put the CCTV camera on there so that we need to monitor the the way the flow of our business because even though sometimes our family is doing it but we don't know the hidden agenda of other people like for example in spending money for for every day for the cost of the of the uh, i mean for the expenses of of the restaurant and for the maintenance of the restaurant we need to calculate how much we need to pay for the people for the for the staff at the same time we need to be good to our staff as well. Okay. And you yes. say that you, we have to install security cameras. Yes. Is it because yes. of the delegation? Mm-hmm. You don't trust your... No, no, I trust them. But of course, for security reasons as mm-hmm. well. Okay. At the same time, like for example, there is a lot of customers and they are sitting down. Mm-hmm. We, need to, we need to call them or we need to chat them. Come on, we need to be, you need to be quick. You need to be alert all the time because of those. She's bossy. No, I'm not. She doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't let I'm employees to sit. <laughs> no, I'm not bossy. Just I want my 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 staff to be all alert for, at all times. Mm-hmm. I want them to be good to the customer, like what I did here in Malta. Mm, that's great. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for stopping by and talking to us. Do we have a consent to share in our channel? Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Your name, age, and where are you from? Um, my name is Sai. I'm from Philippines, and uh, I am 24 years old. What do you do for work? Uh, I work as a sales assistant. So how long you are in Malta? I've been living here for five years already. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose for coming to Malta from Philippines? Um, It wasn't my choice, but because of my family, I think. Mm -hmm. Because my mom is living here for a very long time. Being in your position, doing what you do, how much can we make per month? Really? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Approximately... 1k above mm-hmm. we agree for 1200 more okay 1500 less but in between okay okay so how do you invest your money i save it because i have like extra banks 
I put some extra money on my other banks, and I that's all I think for now. And I buy my whatever I want. Oh, so great! So you are investing, you not investing, you yes, are I mean saving your saving. money. Saving because for now I don't invest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are saving your money in Philippines. No, here in my other bank. Okay, that's great. But what do you I want? I don't have family left in Philippines. Okay, your mom and yourself, you my came mom, here. My mom, my sister, they are already here. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So, for how long you want to stay your life in Malta? I don't know. Uh, let's see what the future holds. Mm -hmm. I cannot really tell you. Great. So, what keeps you staying in Malta? Um, the weather, the people, and my family, and my boyfriend. Uh, you already have a boyfriend? Yes. Uh, he's Maltese or Filipino? No, he's from Serbia. Wow, that's great mixture. Course. How did you find him? Uh, we met, like, I think he saw me online, Facebook, and he started talking to me. We started talking and things uh, going well. Amazing. So, you say that you are saving your money for future. What do you want to do with that money? Because um, I want to, like, um, make my own house, to live, to be financially stable. Mm -hmm. And that's all, I think. Okay. I just want to have my own house. In Malta? Um, in Philippines. Why not in Malta? I will not be here forever. I think I will not be mm -hmm. staying here for long. And at the end, the best piece of relationship advice for our community if they want to find a foreigner partner? I mean, uh, we cannot tell what we're gonna love like if it's like it's uh, she, she's com she's or her compatible with you then you can be together you should respect each other you need you, sh you should respect each other's cu culture because different people different nationality they have uh, their own um, different culture great thank you very much good luck on your life in Malta or Philippines thank you so much hello your name age and where are you from uh, my name is Erica Hernandez from Philippines. I'm 31 years old. Right. What do you do for work? Sales assistant. Right. For how long you are living in Malta? Uh, like eight months. I'm new here also. Here. Right. Yeah. But why did you choose Malta? Um, because I came from another country like Japan, Dubai. So mm -hmm. I try to this one, the New Europe, Malta. Right. <laughs> so. Being in your position as a salesperson, how much can we make in Malta? It depends on the overtime. Mm -hmm. like but normally, normally, what do you do? Like one, two, one, three. Okay, that means like a twelve, thirteen hundred per month. Yeah. Okay. Is that enough for you to live comfortably? Mm, actually, no. Mm -hmm. uh, we need for the high salary because I have family also. In Malta? And in Philippines, I have two kids, okay. two daughters. Yeah. Two daughters in Philippines. Yeah. You are supporting them. Yeah. Okay. But how do you invest your money? In family. <laughs> okay. So your kids' education, you mean? Uh, my education. No, no. Your kids' education. You are investing, uh, or yes, what do you yes, mean? For the insurance. Just to understand from others' opinion also. And you left your family, your kids, in the Philippines, oh. and you came to Malta to work. But why? Like you are leaving your loved ones and just moving abroad. Yes, because in the Philippines uh, we don't have uh, nicely work, mm -hmm. and then it depends on the salary also. Okay, just because of financial yeah, reason. Financial, yeah. Okay. And what is your monthly expenses here in Malta? Monthly expenses like five hundred euro. Five hundred euro, and what are you paying for? For the rent, uh, food, internet also. Okay, and then the rest of them going to your kids? The kids, yeah, for my family. Uh, all right. And then for how long you want to stay in Malta? Three years, it's enough for mm -hmm. me. Three years you want to stay in Malta, then go back to Philippines? Philippines, yes. Why you want to go back? No, because I want to go back in Japan. Okay, yeah. so what you are going to do in Japan? Uh, work also in the restaurant. In the restaurant? Yeah. Okay. For people from Philippines, if they want to move abroad, especially to Malta, what advice would you give to them? Yeah, because this Euro it is a very nice country and also it depends on the currency. Mm -hmm. Like to Euro to Peso, it's mm -hmm. nice. 
They have to move abroad. They have to come to Malta. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> it's very nice country. See. Alright. Yeah. So uh, when you say that you are paying for rent, mm -hmm. and how much is your rent? My rent is two hundred euro. Two hundred euro for one for one bedroom or? Yeah, one room. One room. So you are sharing with other people in the apartment? Uh, yes, in the one room we have two person. Okay, you are just paying for a bed space, 200 euro. Yes, 200. In, in total, how many bedrooms you have? Uh, three bedroom, and then each person is we need to pay for the 200 euro. Okay, yeah. and then that means you have uh, six people uh, six in people, total. Yes, six people. Your landlord is Maltese. Yeah, Maltese. Okay, he's very nice also. Okay. That's good. Thank you very much for stopping by and giving us Bye. your interview. Bye-bye. Yeah, guys, I'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode too. You heard a lot of great advice from people and also you saw how people live in Malta or generally the life experience in Europe. How is it? So don't forget today's video is supposed to raise you as always and also Valex property. If you want to purchase or if you want to sell out your property in Malta, your direct guy is here. You can check my channel to see what properties I am listing and also I'm making home tour for you. Don't forget. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.